Hello everyone, uh, just doing another video uh, just to give you a heads up of the a revision that I've done for the night vision kit that I'm building. Uh, I've obviously had some feedback of uh, some of the kits that I've uh, sent out and you know, a bit mixed uh, but you know, it is what it is when you're doing a DIY build. Um, one thing that it is uh, coming apparent is there are the ones that quite like the idea of having an integrated um, battery pack and also some of the other feedback that I got was the the closeness of the screen to your eye in terms of the eye relief that you get which in a sense you can get around and you know you, if you want to uh, shoot in a different position which I've done a few times it's not a problem there's also the ability to move your scope further forward using some additional uh, mounts and I'm going to buy some of those just so I can do another video on showing on how they can fit so I've probably got about three revisions at the moment uh, so the main one obviously we've seen uh, which was my previous video that went out in terms of fitting the scope um, that one is quite nice still works well however the uh, taking the feedback from uh, a gentleman called um, Andrew who actually had uh, one of the other versions he was discussing uh, we've had an exchange of emails and and so on uh, about uh, integrated battery packs so um, this is it at the moment it's not not fully wired it but uh, it's got a button on the side inside here I've got a, a battery holder that holds three of the 18650 uh, batteries uh, the test run that I did initially um, gives me about two, two odd hours uh, of uh, joy uh, of night vision with this. Um, it probably would have been a bit longer, but I did have a bit of a uh, an issue with these batteries where I um, inadvertently, what's the word I'm looking for, um, short circuit them. Uh, it generates a lot of heat and um, yeah, it's not pretty. And at the moment, I've got them charged and hopefully I haven't destroyed them too much. So that's the uh, integrated battery pack version. Uh, so nice little switch there uh, that I got from Maplin. So that's that. Now, so you can imagine at the moment that's that's going to sit nicely on top of your uh, scope. Now, talking about sitting on top of the scope, the other uh, version has. If I use this as an example, it, it kind of sits like that. Uh, and one of the comments was obviously with, with regards to the eye relief. I have got on order a uh, specific mount, and if this works, it'd be quite nice. And literally, you just clip this on top of your scope. Uh, it would be suitable for a 25mm uh, uh, type scope diameter, uh, the in, in, internal part. Um, but we'll see. That's on order, and hopefully, uh, the the UK mail won't knacker that up. Uh, the other part that I've um, put on is whilst the the case, and it sounds a bit odd at the moment, but uh, I've got a case for the internal battery pack and also another case here. And you could argue that obviously putting one on top of the other, etc. etc. But what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to get a three pole uh, connector similar to that that you get on a um, the headphones, and essentially that's the kind of wiring setup that I'm going to have. In fact, sorry, wrong way round. Let's um, do it like that. So that'll sit onto your scope like that. Uh, I could get the things right way around. And that will sit on top of your scope like that. So that's roughly on how it's going to work. Um, again, with the integrated uh, battery pack. The other version I'm working on is uh, not using this this at all, so this whole box disappears to a degree, and you're just left with the screen on its own. And again, the um, the scope mount that I've got coming through, I'm going to have a hack around with that to see on how that works. Uh, which at the moment I've got a, a demo version working, and that works fine. Now what I'm then going to do is I'm going to take again the three pole uh, connector and wire it in through here. Now there are some people who use something like this out there for the mounting of the uh, camera module. Uh, you can use that and I, I am considering using this on the next build so this case will go and be replaced with this. Downside at the moment is in terms of space inside here I've obviously made a little pilot hole for my cable um, but it's, it's getting everything to fit. The, the space inside here, if I can just whiz this out, I've got literally down to that rim there in terms of space and obviously I don't want to crush anything uh, when I tighten this up but we'll see uh, ultimately if I, if I 
play my cards right, I'd love to have something like this sitting on the scope with the um, like a headphone cable adapter, plug it in there um, and essentially off you go. Um, the other thing that I need to then have uh, on top of that is the power supply. Again, when you're you've got to make a sacrifice. Do you want the the nice tip having something similar to essentially that? So that's that'll be a scope. So essentially, do you want to have that sat on your scope, or do you want to have a box with space to have your um, power connectors? And then, do you want to have the the battery pack on top of your scope or in your pocket you know the, you can play around with this as much as you like but um, so that's where I'm heading at the moment um, so I'm quite liking all the feedback I'm getting and obviously the people who are buying it um, please recommend your friends and uh, I'll send some more kits out as and when uh, just a heads up at the moment the UK in terms of uh, delivery is going through a bit of a hoo-ha um, postman not delivering things People just not delivering things full stop, delays, etc. Et uh, so if you do want something uh, built into, uh, which is more custom to you, please let me know beforehand and I'll probably give you an estimated lead time. Anyway, that's enough for now uh, of me rambling. Uh, speak to you later. Thanks.